Oh, I love apples. Make sure you rinse it off first. <coughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, it's stuck in my throat. But wait a minute, is that my voice? Oh my god, I think that piece of apple I just choked on became an Adam's apple. We need to get you to a hospital. No, no, this is a huge opportunity. With this voice, I could do all sorts of things. I could become a famous singer. I could voice act. I could start a podcast. I could give speeches that change the world. Oh, well, not anymore. Salutations, loyal viewer. Wes Eccles here, founder of Scribble Scrabble Chronicles. Now, I'm sure you were bright enough to understand the previous skit. But just in case, I've made this explanation to make sure we're all on the same page. You see, some people may have watched this video and thought, Oh my god, the horror, the misogyny, the lack of 21st century social etiquette. Those people are missing the point of the episode entirely. It's actually quite the opposite. You see, the message of this episode is that your gender should never stop you from pursuing your dreams. The girl in the video had incredible dreams that she believed was only possible through a male voice, and when she lost that voice, she lost her dreams. It is the bleak irony of the situation that makes the joke and therefore drives home the point. That girl could have accomplished all of those dreams, even after she swallowed the apple. So I want you to remember that next time you plan on counting out one of your dreams, Wes Eccles and all of SSC says don't do it, or we will come for you and force you to pursue a satisfying life. This has been The Animator's Thoughts with Wes Eccles.